For the first time in over a decade, I have a room without a computer. And I've given this space a strong intention to be a retreat, to be my cozy chamber <laughs> and a place where I can rest. I do like the clutter of the bags around the entrance of my room. I just got this dog bag for bourbon. Here's the thing, if you get items that are high quality and also have a nice design, it doesn't matter if it's lying around because it kind of fits with my room. Um, <laughs> so I actually like when that lays around. This basket also acts as the core, but it's practical. Sometimes I put some fabric in here for sewing and the basket itself, super nice. I love the natural texture. You can basically stand up my mirror because it has two pieces of wood and the back has some rods. I can't remember what the wood is called, but I have a bench I'm gonna talk about in a couple of minutes that is the same wood, basically. I have placed three smaller size tatami mats, Japanese tatami mats, um, on in this corner of my room. So it kind of creates this tunnel uh, on the left side of my wall. And to begin with, I was trying to avoid that because I thought it's gonna look kind of weird. I'm not gonna be able to walk here, but I feel like with the mirror blocking that and the plant kind of separating my bed area and the entrance area, it works. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work in every room, but I must say the tatami mat definitely helps keeping this room calm and low to the ground, which allows for more space. And it, it doesn't feel too tiny, even though <laughs> my bed is huge and it's, it's half the room which I wanted because this is my sleeping chamber. I got this plan about a year ago for my last apartment and it has grown a lot. I'm so happy it's healthy. We've transferred it into multiple larger pots and now it's this high. And I must say, I love the feeling of just laying in bed and feeling like there's a tree above me or I'm kind of in a tropical area. This plant is such a statement, brings this beautiful green color into my room. This pose is not as comfortable as it seems, but we're coming to one of my favorite spots in my room because it has, I guess, the most personality. And the funny thing about it is that it just happened. I didn't plan for this, but it makes a lot of sense. So I have this bench, which as I said, is the same wood as my mirror. The graphic behind me is from the Senyo. I've worked with them in the past and I have actually used it as inspiration for the colors in here. I had some inspo pictures on Pinterest um, that were super warm colors, like pinks and reds and purples. Uh, you're gonna see my bed sheets soon, but this is a color that, that fits into that color scheme. We have another plant. Uh, this is a replacement for one that I got that got sick. I do have some knickknacks on here, but they're very curated and I've had these items for years now. I got that crystal actually in a vlog and that elephant, I got it as a child. I also have a pine cone that I found in a park. <laughs> and I feel like these items just go anywhere and uh, make my space feel like home. I've got two candles that I got from my grandma. She's my candle plug. Uh, the one right here burning is in this glass bowl. Let me just turn it so you don't see the sticker. I am quite paranoid about candles, so I always light them in something like that. But I love candlelight. I love ambient lighting. I never, I basically never turn on the ceiling light, which is why, of course, I have a salt lamp. Like, okay, this, this is me. I love the color of this lighting, especially when it's dark. There we go. 
This one sits on the floor right here. Here's my panda. My friend got this for me and this is actually not the original one she got for me. I got this one from her. I mean, I got one from her and then it got old. So I got another one at Ikea. And in my mind, they're still the same. So I keep my bullet journal on here as well. Sometimes if it's not in my office and it looks so good. Like this red color ties everything together. What I love about this bench is how versatile it is and that in the future this could be could be chilling in my dining room again, but for now, it's this amazing um, table situation. I got two teddy bears, another elephant, and some stones, three to be exact, and I don't plan on extending this knickknack collection anytime soon. I didn't actually get this mattress for myself two years ago. I got it for my sister and for guests, so naturally, I was like, let's get the biggest mattress ever. This one is 140. I don't feel like there's a bed in this room. I just feel like, okay, there's some carpet. Here's some soft, squishy area to chill. <laughs> and this is where I sleep. Historically, uh, you don't place these Western mattresses on tatami mats. Uh, you would use a futon, which is a lot lighter and um, makes a lot more sense but this is how I do it and I just make sure to air it out every once in a while. And my bedding is from Ikea. It was on sale. It's from their conscious collection or something. And I just fell in love with the color. As I said, it ties in with that graphic that I have from the Senyo. I really want to create this, this corner that felt cozy and like I could chill here as well. I know this room is all about chilling, but that's point. I got this carpet down here. In my last video, I actually cut it down. I put the rough edge towards the wall and it looks, it looks great. Uh, this is just an old Ikea carpet. I have some more art over here behind me. I can't reach it <laughs> from the Senyo. I love the colors on there. I didn't hang it up yet. I might do something with that, but right now I actually enjoy it on the floor. And I think that's a strategy I'm using in this room to keep everything kind of low um, so it doesn't feel so full. And I also like stuff to be not permanent and easy to move around. I guess that's why I'm, and it's also laziness, okay? That's why I like to have stuff just leaning and standing so I don't have to mount it to the wall and then close up the hole just if I want to move something, so. I don't think I have much to say about my clothes storage, but these drawers are from Muji. I'm gonna get some more because my clothing just isn't as organized. Uh, some of them are kind of stuffed on top of these drawers. I don't like to put too much because they aren't the thickest plastic. I currently have a candle on here and this house lamp, which Nay and I got, I think a year ago. It's just such beautiful warm light and such a simple light. I think it was probably 20 bucks at Ikea or less. Um, it's just so cozy because it's this lantern out of paper and paper just makes the light so soft. These drawers are so versatile, super flexible and I'm always gonna be able to use them. And right now I'm just enjoying them open where you can see how stuffed they are. I think they are light on the room super practical and minimal. I do have a vlog channel. It's called Juice. Uh, we're at 10,000 subscribers. So it would be lovely if you would head over there and check it out. I actually upload every single Sunday. So if you wanna see more of me and um, me doing more random projects and videos with a looser concept and just vlogging, you know, uh, you can head on over there. Thank you so much for watching this room tour. Subscribe to be a part of my journey. I can't tell you what it's about, honestly. I'm just a confused young adult trying to figure out her life. I just moved back home and this is my bedroom. I will see you next Friday. Talk to you.